Hi guys and welcome back. As you might have guessed, I'm pretty obsessed with clay cracking at the moment, and I can't stop making videos about this. However, the one thing that always bothers me is the smell of nail polish. A good clay cracking piece needs about 3 to 6 coats, so that's a lot of time spent breathing in the fumes. It occurred to me that there might be cheaper alternatives, so I decided to do some experiments. I'm going to test out PVA glue, egg white, hairspray and acrylic paint. I feel all of these have the potential to dry into a hard shell, which cracks apart when you press on it. And just on a side note, another type of clay cracking appeared on Kwai very recently, so I wasn't able to include it in this video. This one looks almost like plaster or cement, so I'm definitely going to test it out for a future upload. If you have any guesses what this could be, or if there's something else you think might work for clay cracking, then please leave it in the comments below. So I'm going to be using hearty clay for this. Whenever you're working with more than one piece of clay at the same time, I strongly recommend having some wet wipes around. These can be face wipes, hand wipes, or anything designed to be used on skin. I obviously have an overload of baby wipes at the moment, so I'm going to be using these. Place a few on the table so the clay can continue absorbing moisture from the base. Next, I'm going to add some color using acrylic paint. Since this is just an experiment, I'm going to keep the shapes very simple and not make them too big. Then I'm covering everything with more baby wipes to keep the clay soft while I'm painting on the different top coats. First of all, I'm going to use nail polish, which we know definitely works for clay cracking. This is going to be the control piece, against which I can compare the others. I'm using a quick dry top coat again, because I discovered in this video that it really does dry a lot faster than normal polish. Next, I'm going to test out egg white. This might sound a bit bizarre, but egg white dries into a shiny transparent film, so I thought that this could actually work. This is not even the weirdest thing I've ever done with an egg in a DIY, which you can see in this video here. The liquid goes on really thin, so I decided to apply a lot more coats compared to nail polish. Now we've got white PVA glue. I have pretty high hopes for this one, because white glue can be used as a substitute for clear nail polish when glazing air dry clay. It's easy to tell when the glue is dry because it turns transparent and shiny. This one ended up having the longest drying time out of all the things I tested. Next up is hairspray. Since hairspray also tends to dry in a shiny and transparent texture, I thought this might be something worth testing. This was the easiest out of all to apply, and I simply sprayed on loads of layers. Last of all, we have acrylic paint. This is obviously not transparent, but I wanted to test it out on the basis of it being similar to PVA glue. Acrylic paint also dries in an airtight layer, so I thought that would help keep the clay soft in the same way that nail polish does. And now we have all the results. Just on a side note, these weren't all filmed at the same time, because the egg white and hairspray dried a lot faster than glue or paint. So I ended up cracking each piece when the outside was fully dry, but the inside still felt slightly squishy. The first nail polish one shows you the ideal texture. The polish has dried into a shiny shell, but the clay inside is still soft, which you can tell when I press on it. For some reason, the egg white has caused the clay to split, so this one doesn't look too promising. As a result, the clay has dried out quite a bit, but I think it's still possible to press this apart. The white glue one actually looks identical to nail polish, However, this feels a bit softer, and the clay has a slightly gummy texture.
the surface of the hairspray ball actually looks like normal paper clay if you just left it out to dry for the same amount of time. The inside is still soft though, so we can still try to crack it. The acrylic paint ball feels a lot like the PVA glue one, only the top layer is matte instead of shiny. And finally, it's time to crack these. I actually made two balls for each color, so that's why you'll see two attempts in some of the shots. The nail polish ball cracked perfectly and it sounds so satisfying. I think the spherical shape actually helps with the sound effect because you can pop it open with more force. This explains why so many of the good clay cracking videos on Instagram and Kwai feature round shapes. The egg whites did form a shell around the clay, but this wasn't very satisfying to press. It produced a slight squeaky noise, which for me has the complete opposite effect to ASMR. I have to say, I was really disappointed with the glue version because it looks exactly like nail polish, but it didn't make any noise. If anything, the glue made the surface more elastic, so it simply squished apart. In retrospect, this actually makes sense, since I always mix PVA glue into acrylic paint to make it more flexible. This is a popular method for decorating squishies, and obviously squishies don't make a noise when you rip them apart. This hairspray one feels closest to pressing apart a normal ball of paper clay without applying any sort of top coat. Surprisingly, this actually produced the sound effect, but it's obviously not as good as the one with nail polish. And lastly, the acrylic paint ball was very similar to PVA glue, and not surprisingly, this one didn't crack apart either. So now we have the results of all these materials. So now we have the results of all these materials. I had really hoped to find a better alternative for nail polish, but it looks like clay cracking only works with that. Of course, I still want to test out the other type of clay cracking using plaster, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see that first. And if you have any suggestions for other cracking materials to test out, then please leave them down below. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!